Hi, so in this video I thought we would take a look at doing a stats check of the COVID-19 details that are out at the moment in New Zealand. So this video is all about the data that's available from the Ministry of Health in New Zealand. It's all about case numbers uh, in New Zealand. That's where I am at the moment. We're on school holidays and I thought I'd just take some time to use that real life data to have a look at calculating relative risk. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about the vaccination rates at the moment and how that can help us come out of lockdowns faster. So I take, thought I'd take a look at the actual maths behind that reasoning. So the one that I'm going to fact check today is the idea that uh, even when we're vaccinated, we can still contract coronavirus or COVID-19 and the Delta variant in particular. That's the outbreak we're dealing with at the moment. So I want to take a look at that likelihood of um, contracting COVID-19 when you haven't, haven't been vaccinated, specifically using the data from New Zealand. So this data has come from uh, the Ministry of Health. These are the links if you want to check out the numbers. And it was taken on the 12th of October. So let's start by setting out um, some details there. So of the cases that we have of COVID-19 that are in our current Delta outbreak, so this is the outbreak that uh, happened around August of uh, 2021, is still ongoing at the time of making this video. So just of those current Delta outbreak cases, we have 112 have received one vaccination within, um, but within the less than 14 days meaning that when they contracted uh, COVID-19, it had been less than 14 days since their first vaccination. So they're not counted as vaccinated. And then there were 135 that had been um, had, had their first vaccination and it was more than 14 days. Now, for the ease of doing these calculations, I'm actually not going to make a difference between those two. I'm just going to count it as you've had one vaccination and we will not um, take into consideration the fact that they've been uh, vaccinated within that uh, less than 14 day period, just to make the maths a bit easier. And I don't think it'll have a significant impact on the outcome. So we're just going to count if they've had one vaccination. So we'll put those two together, which makes it actually a total of 247 have had one vaccination altogether. Okay. We've also got 943 that have had no vaccination. And then of the double vaccinated people, we had 24 that had had their double vaccination within less than 14 days and 66 that were fully considered fully vaccinated because they'd had their second vaccination more than 14 days before they contracted COVID. So if we put those together, we get 90. Now, strictly speaking, the 24 that had had their two vaccinations within less than uh, 14 days of um, them contracting coronavirus, they actually don't really count in the two vaccines. I'm going to put them in together, like I said earlier, just to make them the maths a little more straightforward and to give some benefit of the doubt to having had that second jab. Um, now, anybody that is fact checking the numbers will know that that doesn't actually add up to the full total of COVID cases that we have on the 12th of October. And that's because there were also 342 um, that were uh, let under 12 ineligible to get a vaccine. And I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about that particular portion. I'm just looking at those who could get a vaccine, who did, who didn't, and what it, impact it had on them contracting coronavirus. Now, the next thing I need to do what I want to do with comparing these things for relative risk, I need to know how many people in the population have no vaccine, one vaccine or two. So I went to the other part of um, what was available on the health website and found out those numbers. And here you go. So there are 742,341 of the eligible population that have not got a vaccine um, and so on. So that comes to an, an eligible population total of about 4.2 million. Um, one thing that's important, if you are checking these numbers for yourself, you'll notice that this one vaccination number is not the total reported that have had one vaccine, because those that have had two have also had one vaccine. So they, they get double counted as having had their first and also their second dose. So you have to subtract them to get that difference of um, the people that have only had one vaccine and not been followed up with a second one. OK, so now we have the population numbers of so we have 943 people who contracted COVID-19 
from a total possible pool of this many who have not been vaccinated. So we can work out some probabilities now. So taking those probabilities for the no vaccine group, we've got 943 out of a total possible of 742 that were unvaccinated. So of those 742,341 that were not vaccinated, 943 did um, get a positive COVID-19 result. Now that comes to 0.127%. Uh, so I'm turning these into percentages for um, comparison. Now that is the same as saying 127 people in every thousand. So the one vaccine group, let's take a look at their numbers. So they have 247 out of 1,023,904. And that as a percentage is 0.0241% or 24 people in every thousand. So then on to two vaccines. We have 90 out of 2,439,100. And that comes to 0.00369%. Or if we were saying it out of 100, uh, sorry, out of a thousand, it would be 3.7 people in every thousand. I'm going to do one final bit of comparison, which is um, seeing how many times more likely it is to contract COVID-19 to appear as those positive cases um, when we compare those three different groups. So to work out that relative risk, we do one divided by the other, the one that uh, with considering to be riskier. So the no vaccine groups get, gets divided by the one vaccine and that is um, 5.3. So that means that you're 5.3 times as likely to contract COVID-19 in New Zealand at the moment with no vaccine compared to if you've had one vaccine. Now let's compare the two vaccines with no vaccine. Like so. That one comes to 34.3, meaning that you're 34.3 times as likely to contract COVID-19 with no vaccine compared to two vaccines. So going back to the claim that I had started this video with, which was all about the people that are sort of putting out there this idea that um, getting vaccinated is not going to stop the spread of the outbreak. Um, we can quite clearly see here with the numbers that we have, that yes, you can still contract COVID-19 when you've had a vaccination and when you've had two vac vaccinations, it's still possible to get it, but you are far less likely to pick it up if you've had at least one vaccine um, and even more so if you've had two of them. And then of course you would have milder symptoms and be less likely to pass it on. And we could go into the, the numbers for hospitalizations and all of that sort of stuff, but we could look at how severe it gets once you do actually actually contract it and your likelihood of being hospitalized. Um, but for this video, we're just stopping there with the relative risk of your likelihood of simply catching COVID-19.